Katulad ni Kola, from time, first time yung kami yan, first time, we found out team CW2. Go ahead, continue ko kasi yung style doon. Mga pala sabi that, him no ma main cylinder, mga pala mpate kim cylinder him. Then mga pala kim, but how for do him, him nice because mga pala wete mga kata pikinin to do him. Wagina is the largest exporter of seaweed in the South Pacific. 92% of dried seaweed production in the Solomon Islands comes from Wagina's seaweed farmers. But the farmers rely heavily on exporting unprocessed seaweed to China. Go ahead, school fee, blow him, then fame school fee, blow him, and blow him, and life blow him from seaweed. Life blow him this time, also, maybe a little bit changed too, yeah. In Wagina, the primary source of income is from seaweed farming. So to reduce the reliance on the export market, the Solomon Islands Ministry of Fisheries and Marine Resources teamed up with the Pacific community. Because of COVID-19, innovative online workshops were used to teach Wagina seaweed farmers how to cook, package, and sell healthy seaweed snacks for the domestic market. Yeah, to show me for our farm again. We follow the taking seaweed where you know, where fresh one from sea, and then we follow have to scale them too. A hey, washing first time, they mix it with them lay our water. They want to make it for one day, one day for water. So they must remember also water and raw one. For cooking now, our first time we follow cooking now, kraka, chips, mixing with them flour. The main objective of the project was to create a new, healthy product for local consumption, thereby reducing the seaweed farmer's sole reliance on the export market. And that is one year how what I'm learning me fala. Time I'm tanning, I'm now I'm testing, testing every grain I'm learning. What I'm testing now, they know what's eh, but a nice too much. The training was successful and equipment was provided to support snack production. So after workshop, yeah, from there, me fala no no anything for me ma go go kasi this time because how me fala ota me fala ota woman no yah same. I mean ota busy, garam stuck at busy, no waka no seaweed, and for making chips, no ota same big waka na ro waka mo. Follow-on support is required to help the Wagina farmers develop cooperative systems to maintain a sustainable local market with their seaweed snacks. After something here, add food for five years on the island here. Have to order for the whole year, then we flesh us make them now. I think what the pay may be slow here is to come market. Sometimes you do when you go market in low market, you say, oh, that's I like to pick it up, I like to pick it up. I like to pick it up at school. Then you do it. I like to pick it up. I like to pick it up. I like to pick it up. I think it's supposed to be you do it. Then you send it to me. I think I like to pick it up. I like to pick it up. I like to pick it up. During the challenges of COVID-19, the Wagina farmers have shown that they are resourceful and adaptable. Ongoing efforts to diversify markets and build a sustainable business for seaweed could provide a successful model for coastal communities in the Pacific.